There's a new legal debate about the moon that started with human ashes and a can of Pokari sweat. They were among the items on a recent private moon mission by U.S. company Astrobotic, which ultimately failed to reach the moon's surface. What they were planning to do with the Japanese sports drink is unclear, but the trip had raised legal concerns about the proper use of the moon amid an array of unconventional, privately funded plans to exploit it. No one country has jurisdiction over it, so how should it be governed? Right now, there are no U.S. laws or standards outlining what's acceptable on the moon's surface. That's an issue that'll gain more attention as NASA increasingly leans on private companies to cut the costs of its trips to the moon. NASA says it has no control over what private companies put in their landers either, but says payload standards could be created in the future. Lawyers with space law expertise worry that the absence of regulations will not only make the moon a target for contamination and litter, but also spark international disputes. Few countries have adopted standards for moon behavior, and the rules remain unclear in international law. Another private U.S. lunar lander is due to launch next month, and the lack of rules risks bringing Washington in conflict with the widely ratified 1967 Outer Space Treaty, according to lawyers. That pact says countries must authorize and supervise the activities of non-governmental entities. That raises the stakes for the space industry, the Biden administration, and lawmakers who have battled for months over how to regulate novel commercial space activities, with industry groups resisting what they call innovation-stifling regulations. One entrepreneur says overly restrictive regulations could, quote, destroy an industry before it gets off the ground.